This is Barry and Eric again from Moss Pond. Tonight we're going to be doing a gun facts on flare guns or flare launchers or tear gas launchers, however you want to put it. Uh, they're actually signal pistols is the proper terminology for them. Uh, right here we have a Polish copy of the H&K. Now this, this is a, a nice little flare gun. It's light, weighs about two pounds. Uh, the flare gun doesn't have to be all that stout to handle the flares and so on and so forth. But this is the uh, copy of the H and K. It's a Polish-made gun. We have the uh, familiar Orion launcher that you can buy from Walmart in the uh, boating department. It comes with uh, four flares. Uh, this gun is uh, thirty-nine dollars with four flares. It's spring-loaded. It's not locked. Spring-loaded. Now they redesigned the Orion flares. The old ones were only about this long. And they had a bigger projectile in them. I'm going to show you the projectile in a minute. But these right here, what they do, when they put this in the gun, it goes all the way to the end, and they don't get any erosion in the barrel from the flare. It's, this is actually the barrel, too. Now, years ago, the old Orion flares, if you shot them out of a 12-gauge full choke, they'd stick in the choke. They reduced the diameter of the projectile. And we're going to get some close-ups of these in a minute. They reduced the diameter of that projectile. You can fire it through any 12-gauge. Now these aren't going to cycle through a pump, they're too long. You have to load them one at a time, or you can take them and cut them. And we're going to try that later. We're going to see if we can get them to, uh, to cycle. Now here is a, uh, this is a Chaos 37 millimeter launcher with a stock that you can buy for it. Now you can take uh, this, you put this in there, and you can shoot the 12 gauge Orion flares out of this launcher. That's your uh, uh, adapter for your 12 gauge. We've got one, uh, you can mount the launcher on any AR-15 rail. Now this happens to be a 5.7 uh, upper on an AR lower. And this allows you to reduce it and shoot the 26 millimeter flares. We're gonna go over those in a minute. But this gun here is, is a 5.7 upper. It's an AR-15, takes the uh, PS-90 magazine, 50-shot magazine, and when you're shooting that, the empties come out of your mag well. You don't, uh, you don't put a mag in here. Now, you can take a mag and cut the top off and put it in here, and you catch your empties. Nice little feature if you reload. Now, the, uh, here's a flare launcher that I made out of pipe nipples that I bought at uh, Lowe's. This is a 12-inch pipe nipple, 1-inch diameter, a flare just happens to fit perfectly in it, okay? This is a one and a quarter inch nipple that I had a friend of mine turn a plug. He pressed fitted it in there and put a roll pin through it and we ground that off. Now you got a simple little launcher. You load your flare in there, put it like this, and you fire it. Boom, slam fire. Okay, well, there's no firing pin. Well, you take a BB and you tape it to your primer and you got your firing pin. This is self-contained. Now, I've been carrying this thing around every day for two weeks and it hasn't moved. You think scotch tape would fall off or whatever. This is very stout. You drop it in there, put the back end on it, boom. How much did it cost you to make that, Barry? Uh, well, the, uh, the two pipe nipples were about $15 and I paid Steve $10 to turn the uh, plug for the rear end. Awesome. Right. Now, uh, we have a Polish launcher down here, 26 and a half millimeter. This flare gun was made in 1983. Uh, these guns are very robust. The opening latch here, it comes with a holster that stores the gun. The, uh, you got a uh, lanyard, you get a brush and a rod with it, and these are about a hundred bucks. Now the, uh, the Polish flare gun here, this cost about $95, but this is what you get. You don't get a holster and all that other stuff with it. Well now, it's very important to clean your flare gun because uh, these are loaded with black powder and it will rust your gun. Now there's all kinds of different flares you can get. Uh, this is a 10 second parachute flare. You got blue smoke, orange smoke, red signal, green signal, red rain. If you ever saw the movie The Titanic when it went up and popped and it went down like that, that's what the red rain does. You can also get a short white signal, but we're out of those right now. But uh, that kind of wraps it up for the flare guns. And uh, 
We hope you tune in later. There was some controversy uh, several years ago about using these for defense. Now, Eric and I did several videos on uh, the flare guns for defense. The main problem is they have no accuracy. At uh, 30 feet away, th this blue smoke has a steel aluminum cylinder in here, and it just comes out and it spins. There's nothing to stabilize it. All this is done, designed to do is mark a target with smoke. Uh, now, when we were up in Indiana, shooting with Corey and Erica, we were at night shooting these illumination flares. This thing is bright as hell. It will light, it will light up two or three acres just like this for 10 whole seconds. This will be very valuable in a survival situation. Of course, you got the little signals too. And uh, I said, you can make, your, you can make a uh, launcher for almost nothing. So that's, uh, we're gonna wrap it up about the flares. Uh, a lot of subscribers have been subscribing to us for like four years now, and, and most of y'all know a little bit about all of us, but uh, there's four, actually four members of the Iraq Veteran 888 team. There's Eric, he's the creator of Iraq Veteran. This is his baby. He's a mil spec weapons expert, cameraman, special effects gunsmith, and he's the demolition tech, or as the English call it, demolition man. We got Ray down here, he's a gunsmith, Glock armor. Special weapons design. Uh, he's an expert at changing uh, Segas or, or uh, 9130s, customizing that stuff. Duraco, refinishing. M16 armor. He's soft spoken but to the point. Chad, cameraman, special effects, sharpshooter. I think with a rifle, he's by far the best on the team. He's by, by far the best, and I think Eric will agree with that. In the Shoot Your Stuff series, I wanted him to shoot stuff out of my hand, but he refused to do that. We're going to show you some of that stuff in a minute. Now, I'm Barry. I'm down-to-earth guy. Scrounger, props, video sets, improvisation, costumes, special effects, singer, songwriter, poet, philosopher, public relations, and comic relief. So I think we've got a pretty good colorful team here. Now, we're finishing this video uh, a little unorthodox, but we wanted to throw this in and... Uh, we appreciate everybody subscribing. We get a, we get a 98 or 99 percentile approval rating of the videos, which I think is unprecedented in the in the industry, and we appreciate it. But this this is a team right here, and later on we're going to have we, we'll do interviews with Ray and uh, Chad, and we, you'll get to know them even better. But this is the this is the original Zombie Squad. This is the team, the four. And uh, we might add other people in the future, but it, they'll never replace any of these because. Every one of these persons, individuals, has a special characterization to themselves, and every one of us is different. And I think that's what makes the video so interesting, is because we are different. So we're going to end the video with this, and uh, I hope y'all tune in again.